What's up, everybody? John Delarose here. Delarose.com. That's D-E-L-A-R-R-O-Z.com. You can head to that link in my description below, sign up for my newsletter, get a free graphic novel from me. I also have a campaign going on right now on Indiegogo. It's called Deus Volt. And if you love classic Marvel comics from the 70s, especially like Thor or Conan the Barbarian, any of John Buscema's work, Steve Ditko's work, Jack Kirby's work, you're going to love this classic style book that we put out. So please head over to the Indiegogo link also in the description below and back it today. All right, let's get to the story of the day. Every few years, there's always these debates that crop up in comic book circles about how much work did Stan Lee truly do? Was it Jack Kirby who really created Marvel Comics? Was it Steve Ditko who really created Spider-Man and Doctor Strange by himself? And there's a lot of evidence to show that both of these men, who I don't want to denigrate at all, did a lot more work than they were given credited credit for. They were not paid very well for their uh, contributions. And uh, Stan Lee, as the hype man and sort of marketing guy of Marvel, really took a lot more than he potentially deserved uh, from this. Now, this is kind of clear. And, and towards the end of Stan's life, I, I believe Stan was much more open about giving co-creator credits to Steve Ditko and Jack Kirby. Now, I've read a lot of essays from Steve Ditko, who, uh, you know, takes exception to Stan Lee's words on the matters, which Stan Lee said things like, I feel Steve Ditko should get a co-creator credit. And he took exception to I feel as if it's not an objective fact uh, that Stan Lee's kind of downplaying that. But I don't think that was the intention of his words there. I think there's just a miscommunication between the two men. Um, and so, uh, gosh, it's just really sad that this is coming about right now. What's happening is there's a new autobiography biography out called The Rise and Fall of Stan Lee. And this is out from uh, I, I, who does Roy Thomas credit for this? There's only four publishers out there anymore these days. Random House uh, Publishing. And it's it's really a big hatchet job on Stan Lee. It goes a lot further than even the essays of Jack Kirby or Steve Ditko ever went on these things. Basically saying Stan Lee's a fraud, a hack, a nothing and all that. And it's really awful. I mean, doing this a couple years after the man's dead is just, it's tacky at best. And if you look at the last few years of Stan's life, where he really was a victim of elder abuse, go into that rabbit hole, uh, where people were taking advantage of him, taking his money, forcing him into these homes where he really was getting sick, uh, just, just terrible stuff was going on. Um, you know, he doesn't deserve this at the end of the day. Now, there's a lot of arguments to be had here on what happened at, back in the day. Stan Lee had his synopses of what he wanted for his books. Uh, Roy Thomas goes off here on a specifically on Fantastic Four that he had a whole two page document where he, you know, really outlined what the Fantastic Four was and really uh, pushed these scripts to Jack Kirby right away in the early days at the very least. Uh, and I, I have no reason to doubt Roy Thomas. He says he's seen these documents himself. And of course, Jack Kirby's flair and his artistry put a lot of uh, beauty into Fantastic Four that other comics didn't have also. So I definitely credit both men as co-creators. And even in Ditko's argument where he seems to be upset with Stan Lee, he also says the word co-creator quite a bit. He never uh, aggrandizes himself and says he's the sole creator or anything like that. Now, I know in stories later, as Marvel got bigger and you know, Stan Lee was putting in appearances and doing interviews in magazines and really hyping this stuff that Stan Lee did pull back and do less and less work on the magazines as they went on. So in the early ones, he probably did give two page synopsises. He probably did uh, put a lot of work into the dialogue. You can tell the Stan Lee dialogue flair uh, just by looking at a Jack Kirby comics from the 70s, like the Eternals, or looking at the Fantastic Four, that Stan Lee did contribute something that really does add personality to those characters uh, that uh, Jack Kirby does lack in those 70s books that aren't quite there. So he did do something for it. Now, is he a glorified editor? I don't know. Uh, you know, this sort of stuff is a little beyond my pay grade, and we're, we're so many years out of this, and of course, Stan Lee is dead. But he did contribute some work to this and there was something about him and his gravitas and his salesmanship that pushed marvel to the next level a hundred percent these properties would not have really been up there and uh been hailed as in over the test of time if it weren't for his relentless pushing in marketing 
uh, which is really, really a wonderful thing. So he does have contributions. He did actually do a lot of work at Marvel for, for years. And, and before he took over, if you look at the Timely comics, he was doing a lot of work in the back office for Martin Goodman uh, leading up to this stuff. So this is a great article from Roy Thomas just talking about the accomplishments, what's going on here, uh, the rumors that this book is based upon, and uh, of course, shutting down a lot of those rumors. I really love Roy Thomas, and I'm glad that he's actually speaking up about this and doing the right thing here. Uh, this is a great article by him, and I'm going to put this link in the description below so people can read it also. The truth is, these are co-creations. Uh, we should hail Jack Kirby and Steve Ditko. I obviously do. If you watch this channel, I'm you know enamored with the work of Steve Ditko beyond anybody else uh, probably who's ever lived. Uh, but we should not have to denigrate Stan Lee in that same breath. There's no reason to do so. He accomplished a lot. He created a whole line, which we celebrate today. Uh, Co-created, I, I should put that back in. And, uh, you know, uh, I, I appreciate the work he did, and I appreciate all the hustle he did to make Marvel the success it is. I'm trying to do the same thing. Hopefully one day people will think of me as Stan Lee and write biographies saying I didn't really write these books. Um, but I did write these books. I did write Dave's Volt. I hope you'll check it out. I hope if you love comics, you will come in and join all these backers who are getting us there today. Hit the like and subscribe button. Let me know what you think about this topic. I think this book is a shame and I'm really into this article. And uh, this really gives me a lot of respect for Roy Thomas. I'll talk to you guys soon.